Dino on the server thanks to the challenge, that might not be right, now I think about it. I'm pretty sure we're on episode 9, but anyway, uh, as you can see, we are on March the 14th, and I didn't realise how long the break was in the Chinese Football League. Like, they have a break, I'm assuming it's a bit like the MLS. I've, I've never managed in the MLS, but I have a feeling they have a really long winter break. But basically, we've had five months without a game. So that's been plenty of time to thoroughly scout out players, really look for the bargains, looking for those regens. Uh, and I've done a really good job, I think, of making the most of the money that I got through sales. Um, so here's the transfer centre. Um, we'll go into history and then I'll cover uh, Hyung So in a second because he's um, an absolute beast for us. Where's transfers? Transfers history. Okay, so this is what's gone on during the transfer window. So I ended up releasing... Um, all the kind of backup players. Obviously, when I came to the club, there was about four or five players with five star um, or four and a half star kind of current ability uh, and potential ability. And then there was a load of players who were half stars, everything. So I managed to release all of them. And a lot of this transferness has been just getting in players who are going to do a job for us. You're going to notice Alonso at the bottom here. Uh, I decided to sell Alonso. I got £350,000 for him, which for a 29-year-old striker who's about to turn 30 uh, in our league is like a fantastic bit of business in my opinion. It gave me a good deal of money to bring in these players for a pretty decent sum, only a third of the price which we sold Alonso for, so it's really shared up the club's finances and allowed me to increase the wage budget a bit and get in some better quality players. So uh, we have Zong here, who I uh, got in on a free transfer. Um, he's a good player. Uh, he's a backup centre-back, but he's going to be a really decent backup covering centre-back. Plenty of pace about him. Reasonable defending stats, but the fact that he's there and he adds a bit of depth to the squad is important. We also have Sun Lee, uh, who is a goalkeeper. He's going to be our new first-choice goalkeeper for this year. Uh, he's got really decent uh, really decent stats, except in end centricity. But, I mean, I don't really usually look at end centricity usually because it's just completely fluctuated by the what single end centricity. But, I mean, I hate that word. The, the, the single stat. But his other stats are really well rounded off for our league, and he's going to be a good player this year for us. Um, we got him for a really decent prize because he was transfer listed. We then come to Donkui. Um, who is a midfielder left. He's going to be a backup left midfielder. He's a very good player, good athletic stats, good technical ability. Um, really, I was just looking for a player with decent acceleration, pace, uh, dribbling and crossing. And he kind of fit the bill as a really pacey winger who's going to be able to ping balls into the box. We then have Yongzi. Uh, who is a attacking right mid. I got this guy. He's again uh, another backup player for the squad. Um, looking at his stats, pretty well rounded off. Decent pace on him. Uh, and he's got plenty of versatility. So he's a good backup for either wing. Which was another thing I was looking for in a player. Um, we then have Xiao Long. Who he got for £20,000. He wasn't cheap. But he's a 24 year old. He's going to be a uh, one of our first choice strikers, he's injured at the moment with a back strain, but when he comes in, he'll be a first choice striker for us. A uh, really good player, um, decent finishing stats, decent flair, um, half decent off the ball and composure, really good attacking stats. Uh, his stats are on the decline because he's injured, but I have faith that when he's back from injury, he'll be a really good signing for us. And obviously, with the limit on national players, you're only allowed to have three, uh, no, four international players in your squad. Um, to get him was a really important. We then have Lee Peng, who is the worst signing that I made. I got him on a free transfer. He wasn't really scouted properly. Um, and he's an adequate centre mid. He'll do a job if we need to really rotate the squad, but he really is the backup of all backups. We then have Wang Zhong, who I got for 30k. He was the most expensive transfer this window. Uh, decent centre back. Got some half decent stats on him. Reasonably young, and he'll be coming in to replace. Uh, our aging centre back um, Zhao Shi, who's currently 33, he's on his way out. He'll be declining this year, so Zhang will be filling in there uh, as and when he declines. We then have Si Quanj, who we got from uh, GD Youth. Uh, got him just as a backup right back. Decent pace on him. Not the best defending stats, but he has something to offer going forward. And he also can play striker, which is, a, I guess, an additional bit of coverage. We then have Yang Kui, who is. Um, 
another backup kind of substitute player who'll be able to be used in rotation. Uh, not the craziest stats ever, but he has some decent acceleration, some decent pace, uh, and his crossing and dribbling are pretty decent. And then the final player who I'm going to show before I show the biggest transfer of the year is uh, Z. Now, I got this guy for 10,000. He's a regen. And he probably is the best regen that I scouted. I was like looking through players, fiddling with all the little, um, what shall it, fiddling with all the uh, search filters myself as well as letting my scouts go out. And I managed to find this guy. Got him for 10,000 in. Uh, he was a regen last year. This guy is the future of this club, I think, along with another signing that I've made. Um, he has 16 influence, so he's already got the highest influence in the club, so I currently have him as vice-captain. I have hopes that this guy's going to be the guy who kind of lifts us to glory. As you can see, fantastically rounded off centre-back, 17 years old. He has bags of potential, and I'm looking forward to seeing him develop, and especially as soon as he's going to be able to have a good run in the first team this year. Uh, really excited to see what he can offer going forward with the club's kind of future. The last signing I'm going to show you is Hung So. Now, when Alonso went out, I was looking for a young replacement striker who I felt was going to fill the void, and this guy certainly does that. He's 17 years old. He's playing for Suwon, who are, I believe, in the Korean South Korean Premiership. Um, he was being like he was unhappy with the club. He was transfer listed, and I managed to get him. Uh, he's currently looking to join up on the international squad. I assume he'll be going to the under 21s. But looking at his stats, fantastic 17 year old. I am confident that this guy can offer so much. Uh, he's only 17, so his height might still go up, which will help with his aerial stats, which aren't terrible for this league. But in terms of uh, how good he is, really excited by him. To put it into perspective, if I just compare him to. Um, Abenez, who's a similar kind of player, you can see the stat difference. Uh, not quite as good aerially or technically, but a fantastic attacking tribute, good uh, creativity, good speed, good physical stats. Really excited about this guy coming in. So anyway, this year we're going to be... Uh, well, this year I've offered and managed to build up a lot stronger squad around. You can see the players' abilities in the starting eleven. It's a really good kind of starting eleven uh, defensively. Although we look weak, we've got uh, Z who's coming in and Zen who was already at the club, who's shown some great promise during the five-month break as a 17-year-old. I'm confident that he'll be coming good for us soon. Um, but yeah, we're playing a, flat, a traditional 4-4-2. I've managed to. I've decided to put Key on the left-hand side. So last year, of course, we were playing the 4-3-3. And then for the last few games when we needed results, I switched to a 4-4-2. And Key had a fantastic end to the season on the left wing. So hopefully he can do that again this year for us. He's going to be playing there. He's a player to look out for in terms of um, a player who I think can make the difference. It's going to be interesting to see how Iber, Alba and Benes do without Alonso. Uh, I'm confident of Alba's ability to do well. Uh, He's a fantastic striker, a really good creative stat. So I have faith in him going forward. Uh, we have um, uh, Zhao Long, who is currently um, out injured, but when he's back, he'll be starting up front with um, Abal, uh, Alba. Uh, but overall, I'm just really excited. I think we've got a squad here that should be challenging for a top five finish in the league. Um, Confident that if the team play well and you know everyone sticks to the game plans, we can do that. We've got the players. The finances are a lot better thanks to Alonso going out. Uh, players that we bought in have been cheap. And players who I believe are in the next few years are definitely going to develop into a lot better players. Uh, you know, Trying to get those young players in who are going to like be able to make the steps up as the team kind of progress through. But anyway, guys, I don't want to ramble for too long. Uh, but as you can see, we, we've only played two pre pre season game friendlies but obviously five months is a long time without playing any football uh, but I feel as if in that five months the club's made a lot of progress so that we're not left in a similar situation where we're battling for our life uh, with two games left of the season anyway guys enough rambling from me sorry there isn't any gameplay obviously five month break not many games to show you but I hope you enjoyed the video regardless uh, if you did please smash the like button and all that good stuff and I'll talk to you guys in a bit thanks for watching guys I'm out